Hi, welcome to the Quantity Surveying Studio. In this video, I will be explaining how you can use this MACNA standards to find out the duct weight. Now, as you know, the HVAC ducts can be measured in three ways. One can be as per the length of the ducts. Then the second way is by measuring the area of the ducts. And the last way is by measuring the weight of the duct. So it will depend on the specification standard measurement that is used in the project unit mentioned in the BOQ. So to find the weight of the duct, again, there are different standards like SMACNA standards, ASHRAE standards, DW140 for standards based on the standards that is used by the project that is specified in the project we can measure the weight of the ducts as you see this is the table which shows the details of a galvanized sheet which is used to make a HVAC duct so you have the different gauges the thickness the weight and then the thickness in millimeters here it is thickness in inches basically we need to know the gauge of the duct being used and from the gauge we can find out the unit weight so if you see here 26 24 22 20 18 and 16 are the normal gauges that is used in a construction project and corresponding to that if you see here if the gauge is 26 then the multiplication factor to find out the weight is 4.42 if it is 24 it is 5.64 it is 22 it is 6.86 it is 20 it is 8.08 it is 18 it is 10.52 16 it will be 12.96 so now how to find the gauge of the duct for that if you go down here so in this sheet you have two tables one is showing the duct construction schedule as per SMACNA and it is for low pressure class this is as per DW144 for low pressure class here this is a table for SMACNA for medium pressure class and this is as per the DW144 for medium pressure class. Now what is the difference between low pressure and medium pressure class? The basic factor that differentiate the ducts between medium and low pressure is the fan static pressure and duct velocity. So the duct comes under the low pressure class if the fan static pressure is less than 750 pascals and the duct velocity is less than 1500 feet per minute and the duct comes under the medium pressure class if the fan static static pressure is between 750 to 1500 pascals and the deck velocity is more than 1500 feet per minute but less than 2500 feet per minute. So accordingly you can find out whether the duct is coming under which class and based on the standards that is being used in the project you can check out that particular table. So here I am assuming that the project is following this magna standards and it is low pressure class. So then what you can do is see here duct longer side. First you need to to find out the sizes of your duct. You have the width and height of the duct given. You can find it out from your drawings. Every drawing will specify the width and height of each duct. So once the width and height is known, what you can do is you need to find the longer side. So for example, if the duct is 450 into 200, the first number always specifies the width and the second number always specifies the height. So if the duct is 450 into 200 mm size, that means 450 mm is the the width and 200 mm is the height so you need to find out which size is higher so 450 is the longer side so once 450 is the longer side you need to check this table so it is mentioned that if the duct longer side is between 0 to 450 that means it will come under 26 gauge again if it is 451 or 750 between that range again the same comes under 26 gauge if it is between 751 to 1000 it is 24 1001 to 1350 it will be 22 gauge 1350 to 2100 again it will be 22 gauge 2101 to 2500 again it will be 20 gauge and 2501 and above mm will be 18 gauge so from your duct dimensions you can find out the gauge and after determining the gauge you need to find out the area of that particular duct using the formula 2 into w plus h into length where w and h is a width and height of your duct and l will be the length of your duct piece so from that you will get the area and from that area you can multiply with the nominal weight that is unit weight kilogram per meter square and then you will get the weight of your duct in kilograms. Now if you see this is a straight piece of duct so you can find out the area if you have the width height and length known. Width will be this part height will be this measurement 
these two dimensions will be given in the drawing. You need to measure the length of that duct piece. So once you have all these dimensions using this formula, you can get the area. And from that area, based on the size of the duct, you can find out the gauge of that duct and then multiply it with the corresponding unit weight to find the weight of this duct in kilograms. Now this is a master sheet for quantity takeoff for HVAC ductwork which I have prepared. From this single sheet you can find the duct measurement in terms of length, area and weight. So how you can prepare this sheet and how to use this sheet, everything has been explained in the course which I have prepared in Udemy. If you are keen to learn the complete HVAC ductwork measurements, please put in your email ID in the comment section so that I can send the discounted coupon code to you and you can use this code to enroll for the course for a low price. So hope you have found this video to be useful. Please do subscribe to Quantity Surveying Studio for more quantity surveying related videos. Keep learning, stay safe, take care, bye.